what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. I do love your answer, though, on maybe the player you're most interested to see with Aaron Bean and Aaron Anderson. Because, again, I don't know what uh, offensively his role is going to be, but if you look in the return game where LSU struggled mightily last year, you would think that horrid. Anderson would just slot right in and immediately be the guy. If he can catch the kick, yeah, and if he can return it longer than 12 yards, which was the long and a pump return game last year, you've that already won. 12 yards. 12 yards? How, how do you feel as someone who made a career in special teams, who scored multiple special teams touchdowns in a year, seeing a team of LSU's caliber having a season-high 12-yard return? Oh, I hated every bit of it. I was, I was so angry about it because not only playing special teams my entire career, but playing special teams at LSU. Yeah. When I was a starting tailback, being the right guard on punt, <laughs> the left guard on punt was an All-American safety in Craig Stelts. The gunner was an all-SEC receiver in early Doucette. I'm talking senior year. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying you got to go up there and have Malik Neighbors out there at gunner or have Josh Williams at right guard, but it meant something. And it yeah. was something where we knew it would help us win games. Did we always do it? Not every single time. And as soon as we got a lead, a lot of times we get out of there. I'm not going to act like we didn't. <laughs> but if we were playing an SEC game, if we were playing Florida or Auburn or Alabama, we were in there in those situations because – not only did it mean something to us, but again, it helped us win football games. And so last year, you look at – it cost you the Florida State game without question. You no muff punts and you got kicks blocked, okay. Tennessee game, I realized what the final score was, but there's not a worse way to start a game than how they well, started it that just, game. It just made the Tennessee game – like, you probably lose that game anyway. Yeah. But it just – it made it to where it just wasn't – it was over. It was over 30 From seconds From the opening in. kick. 30 seconds in, it was over. So – Oh. Yeah, just get a guy back there that is dangerous, that can catch the football first and foremost, and that has a plan. And also, like when it, it comes to, you know, covering kicks and everything, like they weren't bad. Like field goal kicking ended up being good last year after they figured out how to block the edge. Yeah. I thought uh, the punt team, punt, team, uh, punt team did a lot of good things. But the return game was – you have too many athletes. You got too many dudes for it to be a long of 12 yards. And then at a place like LSU, you should never have a token fair catch no, guy. No, you're supposed to have somebody who can should score. should never have that. That's what they had, though. They had, hey, yeah. we just got to catch this thing. So it's like and, – and, and I'll give a pass because the state of the roster when you took over. But now with another full recruiting cycle, another full transfer you made a change. cycle – yeah, and you, and you made a change coach wise like there there's 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 no free pass to be given. It was season. something where you like you know that Brian Kelly knew and went out there and didn't didn't wait around. Like he knew it had to be better. He knew also it could be better. Yeah. And he's talked about that. And that was that was a big thing for me because he had somebody he's coached for a long time with right in that man. position. His hand of the king. And he knew that he had to make a change at that position. He did, right? For whatever reason. For whoever's fault it was, there had to be a change made. So you make that change, and now you feel much better about it already. With the ball not even being kicked yet, you feel better about it. You saw who Papa Collin chose to win the Natty? I did not. LSU Tigers. Did he? How about it? Okay. I, th I knew it was either LSU with the way you said Boss that, or, knows, or USC. Dude. No, 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 no. He, I, he, come on, you know him. USC would be too on brand. You, LSU's a very kind of, if you're an out west guy, LSU's kind of a sexy pick, right? Yeah. Because you avoid the kind of boring monolith of Alabama or Georgia. It's oh, just simply monolith. too early for USC. Monolith. Um, what does monolith mean? I have no idea. Monolith is, uh, well, I mean, it's actually <laughs> kind of dumb because I mentioned two teams, right? But they do feel kind of monolithic in nature. But like a monolith, just like a giant singular uh kind of like like a building or or or, or statue that just kind yeah. of you know Let me use towers that later over on and and uh, i got actually I, have... I wrote i wrote a very dark poem about the state of college football that i'm deciding whether or not i want to okay. read or not well actually i look forward to but that. the word monolithic is in it monolithic ah. is going to be I have, so i have like a first day of first grade meeting with Memphis's teacher later, I'm going to find a way to get that in there to sound smart. Also has ever, avaricious. Yep, that too. Avaricious. Write that down for me. Wow. Jake, 
What incredible takes. I mean, those guys, they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, again, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications when we post every single day here on OTB LSU.